So I kind of put off making this video because the last time I spoke about a six announcement, it got cancelled. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Bryony Rose. Follow her adventures supporting the musicals. You can see her, you've heard her in the famous West End Theatre. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Bryony Rose. Vlogs of people she met at the stage door of Anne Juliet. In the day CQ for ticks To support the Queen and the Six Welcome to the YouTube channel of Bryony Rose Hey Queenies, it's Bryony Rose here and I am back with another video We have a six announcement that I wanted to talk about Where do we begin? I mean, I've kind of had no sleep this week So if I kind of look a bit like energised I'm running on like fake energy AKA caffeine because I have not slept. And you're probably like, Bridie, why did you not sleep? Well, Six think it's an okay idea to let us know about an announcement at 6 a.m. in the morning. Like, I'm not being funny, but when the drive-ins was at 8 a.m., I thought that was early. So then they said 6 a.m. and I was like, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, did I miss here? That's 6 a.m. 6 a.m. on a Monday. On a Monday. So the whole weekend, I was stressing, I'm like, what's this announcement? We had a few rumours around, but I was like, hmm, is it true, is it not true? It gets to Monday morning, and my zombie self gets out of bed at 5.45 to go upstairs and sit by my laptop. So I'm like, maybe if it is booking tickets, I wanna be prepped. Then Good Morning Britain comes on, that's when it goes out, and it's like 6.20, and it appears, and it's like, six is coming back, and six is moving to the Lyric Theatre, and I'm like, <laughs> what the hell i was like god smacked like i was like what the hell that's crazy um so then i was like oh my god oh my god do i need to put tickets blah, 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 blah. turns out didn't need to put tickets they weren't going to be announced until wednesday like for pre-sales so i was like okay it's fine so my tired self was like okay i'm going back to bed so i go back to bed fast forward two hours three hours it's now nine and i get up to a text and it reads Bridie, have you got six tickets yet? And I'm like, what? You can't get tickets, guys. Don't worry, you can't get them till Wednesday. Turns out, while I had been sleeping, the pre-sale pre-sale, so for people who had tickets already with the arts, had been sent a link and they were like snatching up the tickets. So I was like, are you actually joking me? I was asleep during the time I could have got tickets. I was like, I'm actually such an idiot. So then I'm like, panicking now thinking oh my gosh like i would love to have the opportunity to go to open the night i don't even know if i've received this email so i'm like running upstairs i grab my laptop i'm like searching in i find the email so i had been sent it because i do actually have tickets um, with the art so it did make sense for me to receive the email so i go on it and i'm like okay my heart imagine this guys heart beating palms are sweaty on my laptop going okay which day and i see it open the night and i click it and I book a ticket and I'm like boom book done so yeah I don't know why I spent about five minutes going to that part of the story but I'm going to six open at night obviously there could stuff that could change the show may not go ahead that may end up not being open at night my seats could be changed but right in this current moment I am going to six open at night and I am just so excited like you don't realise how much you miss something until it's gone and I think especially for something like Six the last time I saw Six was in January and it just feels like so long I miss it so much and the other day like they um, did a performance at Magic at the Musicals and um, I think Lexi and Danielle did some like lives at it and I was listening to it thinking this is actually making me really emotional <laughs> I was like because it's so different like I think you can listen to the album but actually listening to it live is a completely new experience and I think just now the fact this is the lyric as well like the lyric theatre I've never been there I never saw Thriller um it's such an amazing venue and it's just gonna be odd really seeing it in a different place but I'm so excited let me know comment down below if you are planning on seeing six at the lyric um, I'd love to know if you guys are going maybe you're going on a date I am because yes guys I did not only just book open at night I mean you know me I wouldn't do that um, I'm really fortunate I live in central London and actually the lyric theatre is like pretty close to me so I have booked I've booked too many tickets I mean <sighs> I said to myself this year, I was like, about a week ago, I was like, wow, 
I have saved so much money not going to the theatre. I have a lot more money in my bank account that I don't usually have. I was like, wow, I can treat myself this year. Maybe I can get myself a new phone or a new camera. Girl, I spent so much money on Monday. It's actually insane. Like, the bank thing, like, came up, like, it gave me an alert, like, suspicious activity because I spent so much money and I was like, oh, God oh god and then i had to break the news to my mother hi mum by the way just to let you know i've like spent like eight months of um money for theatre tickets in a day sorry <laughs> and she was like oh my gosh but i think i was just so excited it was back i was like let me just go not loads but i just wanted to go as often as i wanted to and have the opportunity to do that and also vlog it for you guys because as you guys know i've done six vlogs and i've missed that so much like just getting to vlog at a venue i've missed and i feel like for many of you guys who don't live near london or can't get down if there is like local lockdowns or i don't really know what it's going to be like in november but also you guys who live in america who live in australia who live in asia and i was about to say antarctica africa south america like have I missed any? Europe! <laughs> um, I want to be able to bring you guys content. So I was like, you know what? I'm booking the tickets for the people. I'm booking them for the queens who want to watch my content. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy my vlogs. I am going quite a few times each month. So hopefully I can bring in a array of different vlogs. I don't know what the situation is going to be like with like stage door or anything like that. But I'll let you guys know during the time. And I'll try and vlog as much as I potentially can for each of those days. So yeah. Also, just to add on to all of this, because I'm just so excited, I also... <sighs> you guys are just going to think I'm absolutely crazy. So, obviously, this is Monday. I've booked my tickets. All chill. We're fine. <sighs> then it's a tour. And the tour's also now staying over in the Lyric Theatre over in Manchester, which is just so funny that it's the Lyric Theatre in the Lowry, because how confusing is that? And those tickets went on sale on Wednesday. So I was like, Bridie, you don't need to go to Manchester. You live in London. Just go to the ones in London. But then my heart was like, but Bryony, you love the tour cast. You have to go see the tour cast. <sighs> so then I booked to go to Manchester. Bearing in mind, I do not have a hotel. I don't have train tickets, but I booked to go to Manchester. <sighs> so yeah, the, uh, you know what? Right, my birthday is really, um, it's like in the middle of November, on the 20th. So I was like, look, it's like a birthday present. It's all these six tickets. I was like, Manchester's like a birthday retreat. So that's what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm also going to be going to tour, which is pretty crazy. I'm really excited for that too. I just think it's going to be amazing that it's going to be moving. And like, even the fact it's moving, like there's so many things that I've heard, like apparently they're going to be having new costumes. So I assume they may start introducing a few of the Broadway costumes in. Perhaps Lexi's going to have the new Cleves, um, I was going to say quick change, but like the Cleves costume change, like with the boots and the... Was it like a leotard? I mean, I don't really know, but that. Um, and also, I think maybe there'll be a little bit of change in set. Are they going to have to throw the things that Broadway have? It'll be really interesting to see, and I'm really excited to be able to document it for you guys and find out a little bit more about what they're doing. Also, I'm going to head down to the theatre um, and have a look at some of the boards and the stuff up because they have redone up the theatre, and my God, does it look cute. Oh. They really said appreciation for the alternates. Like, girl, I was looking at all the pictures, right? And like, let's just say there's like, I don't know, like two boards per um, doorway. They've got every single alternate on their own doorway. And even Sophie, who doesn't actually have like a, a photo that they all have, they got her a photo made by an amazing photographer who like takes photos at six and they use one of her pictures and put it on there. And I was like, genius. Um, and then all the ladies in waiting have pictures. It just looks actually insane and i'm just like oh my gosh autumn is gonna be fabulous i've kind of like spoken literally 10 minutes about my love of six so i do apologize for that i'm just overwhelmed <laughs> oh my god and as i say i've had hardly any sleep so i'm kind of going on like a lack of sleep plus a lot of adrenaline because it's only two months away i genuinely thought i wasn't going to be seeing six until like january so i was like mm, is it even going to be january probably going to be march so to think that actually it could be november is crazy and also just to mention like i just think it's so amazing for the cast and crew at six to be able to do this like it must have taken so much work for all of the production to get together and work out a feasible way for 
for them to run the show. I think it's so great that so many shows now and musicals are able and really pushing to reopen because obviously for so many months we had a lot of uncertainty whether we'll be even able to open. So I think it's really nice that actually we've got to a place now where theatres can reopen. Um, I've not been like inside a theatre yet. The only like performance or live show I've seen since lockdown has been the drive-in. So I can't wait to just feel like I'm in a theatre. Um, and obviously all the seats are going to be social distance. There's going to be temperature checks. Um, there's going to be like loads of safety measures in place. So I'm hoping we'll feel super safe and secure, but also enjoy the performance at the same time, which is really exciting. But yeah, I just can't wait. Let me know down below if you guys are planning on going to see it at the Lyric or at the Lowry. The Lyric or the Lowry? the Lowry or the West End, the lyrics, <laughs> um, and let me know, and yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please give it a like, and subscribe, um, and also follow me on social media, and I'll catch you for another fun video soon, bye! Hey Queenie, you're still here, I think you've dropped your crown, let me put this back in your head for you. If you want to watch more stagey goodness, you can check out my latest video by clicking here. And if you want to be part of my musical madness, you can also subscribe to me by clicking here. All my socials are going to be linked below, and you can check them out down there. With that being said, I'm off. Quick question, do you know where stage door is?